Hey everybody, it's me Chris. I'm back in the kitchen and you know it's football season so I thought I'd do another wing recipe. I'm going to show you how to make barbecue wings this time. We're going to do a 24 hour marinade with a dry rub and then I'm going to cook them in the oven low and slow and I'm going to finish them out on the grill. Get some nice char and charcoal flavor on them with some barbecue sauce. So uh, let me show you what I got here. I got the wings. These are already uh, come trim. Um, I got them from Costco. You get a really good price for, for about $13. I got 60 wings. I'm just using a couple dozen here. And this is my dry barbecue rub. You can get the recipe on my channel. Look for me, uh, Chris Smith, DiGiovanna Family Recipes on YouTube. All right, so what I'm going to do is first drizzle a little extra virgin olive oil over top of the wings. And I'm going to start to put some of the dry rub on. And I got a, a glove on my hand here to keep my uh, myself clean. And I'm just gonna start to mix these and continue adding until I have the wings well coated and mixed with seasoning. All right, so I got my wings uh, nicely coated with the dry rub. And you can see that there's a lot of seasoning. These I season these aggressively, they're gonna have a ton of flavor. And now all I'm gonna do, I'll take a piece of plastic wrap I'll cover them up and I'm gonna put these in the refrigerator. I'm gonna let them marinate overnight till we're ready to take them out. All right, so here I have my wings. They marinated overnight in the refrigerator. I'm just gonna give them a toss and mix it, get a good mix from everything on the bottom. And I'm gonna arrange them on this sheet. I got a, a cookie sheet with some foil and I put some nonstick spray because the wings tend to stick sometimes. So I'm just gonna lay these out skin side up on the pan. All right, so my wings are evenly spread on the cookie sheet and they're ready to go in the oven. And I have my oven preheated to 275 degrees. I wanna cook them on a low temperature so that they don't get dried out because the wings are so small. If you cook them on a higher temperature, they could easily get dry. And I'll check them after about an hour, or hour and a half. I'll cut one open to see if they're done. All right, so my wings are done. They've baked at 275, and they actually only took about 50 minutes, and they're completely cooked through, so I'm just transferring them to a bowl. And you can see I cut one of the drumettes open here, and you can see it's completely cooked through, but it's still very, very juicy and not dried out, and that's really what we want. So I'm going to take these out to the grill, and I'm going to start getting some char on them, but I also want to make a little glaze. So I just have some barbecue sauce here, about a half a cup, and I'm gonna put in a couple, two or three tablespoons of cider vinegar and mix this and make this my basting liquid. So you notice I lined my pan with foil before I bake my wings, and this is why. It makes cleaning up very, very easy. You just fold this up and Throw right in the garbage and you don't even need to wash your pan if you did it right. All right, so I started my wings on the grill, skin down. And this is what I'm after. You see this beautiful dark char that's gonna give it so much flavor. And if your grill gets hot, just move it out to the edge like I did. And I'm gonna come in with my barbecue sauce and vinegar and start to baste. And once I get them all, I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side and we'll be ready to go. All right, so here's the finished product. I finished these wings out on the grill. I basted them with the barbecue sauce and vinegar on both sides to get it coated nicely. And now I'm time to try one of my wings. The wings are fabulous. You're really, really going to love them. And because we cooked them so low and slow in the oven, they're still very, very juicy and succulent on the inside. But they're nice and crispy and charred and flavorful on the outside. And remember, we marinated them in that dry rub for 24 hours, so they're packed full of flavor. This is a great recipe if you're having people over or just to make for yourself. If you want to have some great Sunday football wings, try my barbecue chicken wings. Don't forget to search for me on uh, YouTube, Chris Smith, DJ Family Recipes. Subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching the video.